So today I want to talk about why I'm back on wish frames in 2024. Now I last had a pair of these back in 2020 and I absolutely love these frames so much so that I literally ground them down to the bolts. Since then I've wanted to try out some of the products and I've been on the solar frames and the symmetrics frames, both of which I absolutely loved. But back on the wish frames today, set up uh, 72s on the outside, uh, 60s on the middle uh, with the revolver wheels and bearings and absolutely stoked to get into this setup and tell you why I'm loving these in 2024. It's probably been 18 months or so since I've skated the transition, but pumping around the ball there has just really reminded me why I love these frames. And it's the diversity. It's having those massive 72 millimeter wheels at the front, but also that big split between the second and third wheels, you know, for your grind space, just really gives you the best of both worlds. Where I felt these frames really shone and where I really fell in love with them was when I was getting in Barcelona and being able to, you know, focus on grinds, but also having the wheel size to be able to coast between spots just really made for like the perfect setup for street skating, part skating and anything you want to throw at them. So that's number one. Reason number one why I love these frames is their diversity between speed and grinding performance. The park's getting a little busier now, so I'm just kind of having to take what I can get in terms of angles and grinds. But nonetheless, they're feeling awesome, both on a sole base grind and on H-Box tricks. One of the things I really like is when you get locked into like a Royale or a back Royale, you can just sit on the wheel back protection, a bit like it's getting an anti-rocker frame. Um, I did get a tiny bit of wheel back once when I was lent right back, but like other than that, I could kind of sit on it in the same style as like a coping ledge. Um, they're sliding really well on the sole base tricks as well, locking in really nice, balancing really well. I really like that they've got that indentation in the frame wall, just helps to reduce the amount of friction and um, the experiencing on sole base tricks as well. Um, so in terms of grind, really impressed with how he's performing and exactly as good as I remember. In terms of the specs of these frames, we're talking a 283mm wheelbase, so definitely a super long frame and probably more suited to people with kind of like larger feet, sort of UK size 9 and up in my opinion. Um, there is also a medium frame which comes in some uh, smaller wheel sizes. I've got a comparison between the two frames um, on this channel as well. You've got numerous different wheel setups in terms of how you um, configure your frames. I've got the 72 and uh, on the outside 60 in the middle, which gives a very slight rocker, essentially meaning that the middle wheels just just sit about one or two millimeters lower to the ground as the 72 millimeter wheels and what this means is you've got a nice pivot point in the middle there which makes the frame much more maneuverable than it would be on a flat setup but if you prefer to ride them flat there's multiple different configurations and I'll leave a list of them on screen now and a link uh, to the Wish website where you can look at the rockering table for all the different options. Before we move on to some grinds on the rail, I just want to give a massive shout out to Loco Skates for their ongoing support of this channel. If you haven't heard of Loco, they're a skate shop based here in the UK, but shipping out products worldwide. I've been shopping there for about 15 years now. Why is that good? Just got an old school! <laughs> The prices are always good, they have everything I need and they're always on hand with advice if I need anything as a skate your own shop before I make a purchase. Also, if you're an international customer, you can shop in your own currency and see any of the relevant taxes and duties at checkout. So it's absolutely transparent what you're gonna be paying at the point of purchase. Massive thanks to Loco Skates for supporting the channel. I wouldn't wax if it was good skating, but I didn't think anyone was going to hit it. So. Yeah. <laughs> 
So as I'm watching the footage back, one of the things I'm remembering is how much I love the aesthetic of this skate. Particularly if you've got larger feet, I think it's nice to have a frame that seems to kind of match the size of the boot. And for me, the look down on the skate is also really important. Seeing the, you know, the end of the wheel sticking out above over the end, um, I just definitely find that really reassuring. I think it looks a lot better than having like a stumpy frame with much like smaller wheels. Also, I just really love the organic like curve shapes in the frames. I think it just complements the boot really nicely and overall absolutely loving how these look, which definitely makes me more stoked to go out and skate them. So there are only two things I would say I dislike about this frame and one of them is kind of more of a trade-off than something that's actually wrong with it. So the first of which would be nice if I had a bolt tightening system where you only needed one Allen key. Um, I think that's always nice, something that's featured on the solar frames and also on the Symmetrics was a nice feature to have. The other thing is more of a trade-off which is that with the sort of taller ride height of needing those 72 millimeter wheels what you do find is it's much harder to topside i've only really topsided the rail flat and the reason is it's be pretty tricky to topside a ledge that's that low you definitely can do it and i definitely have done it on plenty of ledges um, but that's just one of the trade-offs of having those larger wheel sizes and you just got to decide you know what's more important to you in that respect so if you're looking to pick up some new gear for the summer make sure you take out loco skates there's a link down in the description um, to where you can check out their shop hit like if you got some value from this video leave me a comment and let me know what you're going to be riding in 2024 thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one